I'm going to show you how to build your first iOS app, no programming experience required at all. We're gonna do it all with AI using Cursor AI, the most powerful AI programming tool you can use. We're gonna build our own habit tracking app. It is gonna be sick. We're gonna have a ton of fun doing it. And at the end of this, you'll have your own iOS app that you built all by yourself that you can then use every single day. Let's go. First thing you wanna do is download Xcode. This is the Mac app that allows you to build and run apps. So make sure to go into the app store, search Xcode, download Xcode, get that popping. Once that's good to go, make sure to open up Xcode. This is what you'll see. We're gonna create a new project. We're gonna click on app under iOS. That should be the default option. We're gonna hit next. Let's name our project. I'm calling this habit tracker. Feel free to follow along with me. Pause whenever you want, download things, start things, code things, whatever you wanna do, follow along with me. I'm calling it habit tracker. Give it an organization identifier, hit next. And then we're going to choose a folder to put it in so you can create your own folder here. Uh, I'm putting it in my habit tracker folder I created, create. In a second, we're gonna download Cursor and start the cool AI stuff, but just to get this up and running. Once this opens up, all you have to do is you can hit play. And what this is going to do is boot up kind of the default iOS app, just so we can make sure this works. So it opens up an iOS simulator. This is an iPhone 15 Pro. This boots up our boilerplate app so we can make sure it works. Boom, hello world, that works perfect, let's go. All right, so go to cursor.com, download that, it's free. Get it popping, get it open, you're good to go. Cursor is the program we use to build apps without any coding at all. You don't need a single day of experience building code to build apps with Cursor. Once Cursor is downloaded, open it up. This is what you'll see. Now let's open a folder. We're gonna open up the exact same folder we just opened up in Xcode. So find that folder, open up the folder inside of it with the app, click open. Boom, that opens up the app in Cursor. Now we have the same code opened up in Xcode that we do in Cursor. So anything we do in Cursor will show up in Xcode. And so basically this is how it works. We're going to be doing everything with AI in Cursor. We're gonna be telling Cursor exactly what we wanna be building with plain English using prompts. It's gonna edit the code and then we open it up with Xcode to see what it looks like. I'm gonna show you exactly how to build your iOS app through here. So what we're gonna do is this, open up the habit tracker folder, open up the content Content view. You can see this is our main file. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do Command Shift I. This opens up our composer. And what's gonna happen in our composer is we're just gonna tell the AI exactly what we wanna build. So follow along with me step by step here. I'm gonna put in a prompt in plain English. It's gonna say, I want to build a habit tracking app. Let's build this out step by step. Let's first add a way for users to enter in new habits. Build an input and a plus sign to add the habits. I'm gonna hit enter. And what's gonna happen is cursor in the AI is gonna start writing the code for the app. So I'm not writing anything here. Right here just puts in all the code for us. And then down here in the bottom right, it tells us everything it's doing. It's adding new properties and we can just hit accept all and it adds in the code. Now let's go see what this looked like. I open up Xcode again, let's hit play. Let's see what this looks like. Let's see what uh, Cursor was able to build for us in that first step. And again, we're gonna go back, we're gonna add a ton more to this, but let's just see step one, how this looks, if it worked well. This pops open the simulator again. Come on, baby, what do we got? We got something good here. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Boom, look at that. Okay, so we're building out our app. All right, let's enter a new habit of working out. And we'll hit the plus sign. Boom, it adds the habit, okay. And we'll do subscribe to Alex. Plus, okay, so we got the habits. Now we need a way to be able to check it off. We need to be able to, way to check off every single habit. So let's go back into Cursor and keep building out this functionality. So I'm back in here in Cursor. Let's go back into our composer and let's start adding in what we want. Okay, so I put in our next prompt of what we wanna build here. I wanna have a way to check off a habit when it's done. Put a checkbox next to every habit. When a habit is checked, put a celebration animation on the screen, something like confetti. I wanna be able to check off habits and I wanna get a really sick dopamine hit every time I do it too. So I want a little bit of confetti. Let's hit enter. Again, this is gonna start building out the code for us. I don't even know how any of this code works. It just builds it out. It's adding checkboxes and actually next to each habit and it's including a celebration animation when checked. We'll use a simple confetti animation. I love that. I love that. Let's accept all, boom, let's check on this again. And before I press play on this to see what this looks like, if you learned anything so far, make sure to hit subscribe below, turn on the bell, hit the like button, that will really, really help. And let me know what else you want me to build in my videos. Everything I build in my YouTube videos are from user feedback, so let me know in the replies what you want me to build out. So I'm gonna hit the play button here, let's replace it, let's see what this looks like. I wanna see a really nice confetti animation, let's see. It's loading up, I want the sickest dopamine hit every time I do a new habit. Here we go, okay. Let's enter a new habit, eat my vegetables. 
We'll hit plus there. All right. Let's check it off. Look at that. <laughs> confetti. All right. The confetti could use some work. The confetti can use some work, but we have the checkbox and we have a cool little confetti animation. We're getting there. We're getting there. I want to add, I want to add another thing to this. I want to be able to have a calendar, right? So I can see which days so I can keep track of which days I'm actually doing the habit. So let's go back here. Let's build out a, a habit tracking calendar so we can track which days we did the habit. So I'm going back in the composer. All right. So we're going to do this. I want a calendar on the screen too. That shows off which days I completed habits. When I check off a habit, the day in the calendar is filled with a color. This is going to allow us to track our streaks, how many days in a row we complete habits, things like that let's hit enter i think this is going to be pretty cool we got our confetti we can check things off now let's track our streaks on a calendar all right certainly let's add a simple calendar view to show which days habits are completed we'll use a grid of rectangles to represent the days of the current month and fill them out with colors when a habit is completed on that day all right look at all this code's building out if i was a developer this would take me hours to build out because i got ai on my side it just builds out in seconds this is too easy literally anyone can do this anyone i hit save on that let's open up xcode let's play that again come on baby Look good for me here. I mean, what's really revolutionary about this as this loads is the fact that anyone can come up with any ideas now for iOS apps, for anything, and then just build it out. You no longer need to have the technical skills. Anyone with ideas can build out apps now. I think that's pretty revolutionary and something people aren't really thinking about. All right, here we go. Look at the calendar. That's pretty nice. Let's enter in a habit. Go for a run. We hit plus. All right, boom. We got our habit there. Let's check it off. Ooh, we get the confetti and the day is checked off which today is the ninth. Boom, it works perfectly. That's sick, we now have a habit tracking app. I, within a few minutes, have an entire app I built myself that I can now send to my phone. If I want, I want to put it on the iOS store. I can put it there. If I want to sell this for a buck, I can put it on the store and sell it for a buck. I have my own business. I built an entire side hustle in what, five minutes? That's pretty incredible. This is so much more powerful than you think. You now have the power, if you follow what I did here, anytime you come up with an idea in your head about something you want to build, you can just go to your computer and build it out. You don't need to learn new skills, nothing. You have AI. AI is your own personal employee building things out for you. So next steps for you, what we're going to do is in following videos, I'll show you how to upload this to the app store to get it approved, how you can start selling and how you can start making money off of it. But what you just did just now, don't underestimate it. You just built your own iOS mobile app. If you learned anything, make sure to hit subscribe below, turn on the bell notification, hit like, and then let me know in the replies what else you want me to build out. All I do is make videos showing you how to build cool stuff with AI. I'll see you in the next video.